Well, here are a few pointers for setting up a buffet. First and foremost, you set up your tablecloth. And when you set your tablecloth, you want to make sure that uh, the seam is down. You never want to have the seam up. And you always want to make sure that there are no tags uh, on the front. Some tablecloths have tags on both sides. So what I always do is try to rip off the other one or cut it off. Rental company doesn't like that, but too bad. The other thing you want to do is make sure that they line up properly. You pull it back, get it set however you need to. And then the easy thing is you pull it, you fold it over, and then you fold it back over again so you don't end up with a seam that is uh, ragged at the end. Now some other basic ideas about a buffet. Um, height, different things at different heights makes for a more attractive presentation. So you can, instead of just putting something on top and, and putting something on, uh, on top of that, if you want to have some more interesting height, put things underneath the tablecloth at different heights and then go ahead and set, your, set that back up on the front. Um, other considerations as far as having a buffet, when you're determining what to have on it, think about what time of day it is. Um, is it supposed to be a meal replacement or is it just snacking? Is it uh, going to be outside in the sun for a long time or is it going to be inside in a climate controlled place? Those are all considerations when designing your menu for it. As for the physical setup, um, always keep in mind why is somebody setting up a buffet um, usually it's because the customer wants to save more money than they, uh, they want to pay less than they would if they had a sit down meal or they want to uh, have more of a walking around kind of atmosphere. Um, two considerations for that. Always put the most expensive product at the end of the buffet line because before that people will set up, uh, people will fill up their plate with food uh, and then they won't have much room for the, for the, to get a 16 ounce piece of, you know, ribeye, prime rib, uh, at the end of the buffet. Um, have smaller plates. Um, there's nothing worse as a, as a restaurant owner or, or somebody's doing a catering gig than to see people throw away a lot of food at the end of the night because they took too much at the buffet. I'd rather have people come up a couple of times with a fresh plate every time, uh, of course.